hello. Um, I am back in Chiang Mai. I'm on my afternoon run. And uh, I ran one of my old runs to go see the Garbage Gang, which is a group of dogs that I know. Um, but they're not out. It's kind of hot. It's uh, We're pretty close to the hot season. Song Khan, the big water festival, is kind of the start of the hot season. That's one month away, so it's, uh, it's cooking. Um, but it's fun being back in Chiang Mai, back in the old haunts, back on my motorbike, um, going to kind of my usual places. And um, uh, it's my second day of training. Yesterday I came back, um, had a full day, but um, Den wasn't holding for me. This new guy Jack was holding for me, who um, I had done pad work with before we left. And he's fun to do pad work with, um, but he's not super experienced. Um, in Muay Thai, he's definitely not Den. Um, so today I got to go with Den again, and that was really, really good. Um, I can feel how different I am from my work in Pattaya, and um, I don't know, it's exciting. Um, the challenge now is to take the things that I was learning in Pattaya and the things I was working on there and transfer them into my work here. Um, so I'm still focusing a lot on controlling my kick, um, shadow boxing in a different way, and uh, trying to bring, I guess, more focus into my pad work, which is a little bit of a challenge just because um, you're working with another person. So, you know, um, you can't tell your pad holder to do something a certain way. You can just say, I want to work on this or, you know, continually do the thing that you're trying to work on and see whether or not they catch on. Um, we'll see how this afternoon goes. Uh, hopefully Den is holding for me again. And uh, we'll see how how that shakes out, but I got lots of time to work on it. Um, and then the other thing that I definitely want to do is get more clinching and sparring here, which is really something that I've needed and wanted for two years, but it's just hard. And uh, you know, the, the Thai boys don't train as much or as often as I do, so they're not always down to clinch or spar. And then my experience in clinching and sparring is more limited, um, so I'm kind of not at the level yet where I can really um, offer them a whole lot while I'm doing that work with them. But having clinched so much at Pet Rong Rong with the kids my size. Come on, puppy. Hi, buddy. Where do you come from? Hmm? Hmm? Just want to say hi? Um, this is a cute puppy. Um, but so I got so much clinching training there that hopefully I should be able to kind of like hang with off. He's not that much bigger than me. Um, and then I just gotta keep, well, I need to be more forceful in asking for sparring and clinching practice. So those are the things I'm working on. Um, I don't have a fight scheduled at the moment. Uh, everyone told me to wait until my scars were closed a little bit more um, to have more time to build up tougher uh, scar tissue, but I think that I can fight next week. I'll bring it up to Den uh, this evening and see how he feels about that. Um, definitely don't want to wait a really long time. Um, not because I want to be irresponsible and jump back in when I'm not ready or something like that, but because um, I've, already, I've already had a lot more time than I normally have between fights. And uh, I do better when I fight more often. So part of my training is fighting. So. If I'm taking an element of that out, it would be like, you know, if I couldn't use my hands for a month or something, you'd, you'd be itching to use your hands again. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, last night we went to Calais Stadium and watched an eight woman tournament, all ties at 50 kilograms, which I don't weigh, but that's the, that's the weight class I fight in. Um, so there, I think there's only one fighter who I've fought before, Cherry fought her twice and um a girl who <laughs> I should have fought a bunch of times but it hasn't come through yet um named by Fern so we watched this uh eight woman tournament and now there are four the next round will be in Hua Hin and then there will be a final after that but it's pretty exciting that female Muay Thai is getting these tournaments these kind of like pushes in promotion and there's a pretty good crowd there so things are happening and uh I'm here to look at it, so it's exciting, and uh, I'll try to keep you guys up to date on it. Glad to be back in Chiang Mai. See you guys soon.